Good morning, sunshine. It's Casey coming at you from Tucson, Arizona, zone 9B. I'm out here before the crack of dawn, um, waiting for the sun to come up, and of course, drinking my coffee, walking around, looking at all my plants, make sure they're happy and healthy. This is my very, very favorite part of the day where I can come out and enjoy the coolish morning and uh, let the dogs run around. I've been working on a project and um, I want to show you, so let's go. The neighbors have chickens so you can hear the rooster crowing. I love it. I love coming out here. I wanted to show you a project that I have almost completed. We completed about two-thirds of this project yesterday. Excuse my hose, I had to move it in so that I could finish mulching out here yesterday. So this area is what I call my dog run. It's not actually a dog run as I have a lot of things planted, but um, it's where I let my dogs out in the middle of the night when they have to go to the bathroom and I don't want them to have access to the whole backyard because it's rather large. So coming out of the dog run, you will see that I have this whole other side of the yard. And we finished mulching it yesterday, which was super exciting. I think it looks beautiful. And the reason I did this was because, well, I wanted to do it to begin with, but I got an estimate to put downspouts into these three little containers over here, if you can see them. I got those off of Amazon. And I wanted to collect the rainwater because when it monsoons, the water gushes off the roof and it ends up flooding this area of my yard. And I don't like that. It's then a mud bowl and then my dogs come out and roll around in it if they get out of the fence. And it's a huge mess. And so I thought, okay, I'll just get gutters and um, or downspouts and uh, collect that rainwater. And I knew that these little containers weren't going to hold a lot. I think it's only 50 gallons, but I thought I could at least try to conserve some water. But what I ended up doing was getting mulch. And I love my backyard. I absolutely love it. So when it rained for the first time, and I had only done about half of this yard at that point, I was amazed that the wood chips did not move. And I mean, we had some torrential rain. The wood chips did not move. They did not end up down my driveway or in the wash. They stayed put, they collected all of the rainwater, and um, they were, the, the wood chips were perfect for erosion control. Now also, the wood chips were excellent at retaining the moisture for the plants. So now my plants are going bonkers because they get to keep all that extra moisture around the roots and they love it. So I'm just walking around showing you a little bit of my backyard and how green and lush it looks. And we haven't had rain actually for a few weeks. I'm hoping we get some more before the end of uh, monsoon season, which I believe is September 15th. That's a mulberry back here that my, my dad actually brought me from Missouri. And it was about six inches tall when I stuck it in the ground and it's amazing now. So with the mulch, the mulch cools the roots of the plants by about 20 degrees. And when you live in Tucson, Arizona, and the summers are incredibly hot, that 20 degrees makes a tremendous difference. So I'm a strong supporter. I'm an advocate for mulching your yard rather than getting gravel and putting gravel in your backyard, as most Tucsonans do. And I know you can't tell now, but my little dogs love to run around. Love, love, love to chase each other and run around. And the mulch is cool on their paws. So they're not burning their little feet. 
and I can come out and walk around barefoot too and it doesn't bother me one bit. Now this is where the mulch ended because I just have a limited amount of time. I do have a pile outside that I still, outside the gate, that I still need to finish using up. I've used about eight tons of mulch. And I got mine from a company here in Tucson called Tanks. T-A-N-K-S, Tanks. In Phoenix, it's very popular for people to get free wood chips, which I am hoping to jump on that bandwagon soon. Um, it's not as popular in Tucson, so I haven't been able to locate anyone to, to give me free wood chips, which I would absolutely love. Um, but there is a website or an app that you can sign up on. Um, no, it's a website. And it's getchipdrop.com. Getchipdrop.com. Yes, that's it. So maybe one of these days I'll wake up and go outside and have a big, huge pile of wood chips waiting for me. That would be amazing. So yeah, so far I've used about eight tons of wood chips. My dogs love to come out here and get into the little container that I set out for all the wildlife that needs a drink this summer. Apparently they think that this water tastes better than the water they have in their water dish inside the house. They always make a beeline for it. So yeah, I still have a lot of uh, work to do, but I have about two thirds of the yard done. So I'm very, very excited about that. Now, if you see these piles over here, those are my clippings. Those are my clippings from the grapevines. Those are limbs that I have trimmed up. And I know that looks horrible just leaving that sit there, but they had to dry out. I got a little wood chipper from um, Harbor Freight and I'm going to hopefully make some of my own mulch by using it. I haven't used it yet because the wood has to dry and every time I wanted to use it, we got a monsoon. But I'm hoping in the next day or two, I'll be able to use my new little gadget and see how it does and I'll let you know. This is Scotch. He's 10 years old. He's a Doberman Great Dane mix. And this is my newest one over here. This is Brewski. And we got him. He was a rescue dog. Someone had dumped him. He's about nine months old, and he's a sweetheart, and he and Scotch get along perfectly. Scotch's best friend, Bailey, passed away a few months ago, and that's when we got Brewski. You may notice a trend in the names. We also had a Brandy at one time. Brandy, Bailey, Scotch, and Brewski. Well, I think I am going to go out and sit maybe over here. This is my little she shed barn. And I like to grab a cup of coffee and sit here and let the dogs run around. And sip my coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for tuning in. And I hope to see you again. Thanks so much.